Hey everybody, it's Miranda, your sexuality coach coming at you. And right now, we are going to talk about fellatios, aka giving head, aka uh, giving blowjobs, aka sucking dick. I think you get the point. So, I wanted to share some tips with y'all and basically uh, have some fun with it and show exactly what makes a good potential partner um, who's good at uh, giving you blowjobs compared to the partner that really sucks at sucking. So let's have at it. So basically, ladies, there's some components that is needed. Spit. Spit is one of them. The more spit, the better. And basically, it's lubrication for them, but it's also lubrication for you because you don't want to have a dry mouth and then you're putting it on them on a dry dick and, you know, everything is just all dried out. Um, usually what ends up happening is that you'll probably end up scathing it um, and it's not going to feel comfortable to you or the partner that you are doing this with. So lubrication is a must. Um, tricks for that is to keep water at the bedside or wherever you are at. Keep a uh, bottle of water there. If you're drinking a glass of wine, keep a cool, chill glass of wine right next to you. That way you can wet your lips in between and even play some, some water games, some wet games with them too. So that is one tip to do. Another thing, good blowjobs means no teeth. Yes, like if you want to stop and, and just mess up a guy's head completely, scratch them with your teeth and that's really just you know you feel them jerked they may give you one chance second chance it may not be you know they may you know <laughs> ask you to do something now so yes ladies you have to avoid your teeth and i know especially if you don't do it all the time or if you don't enjoy doing it and we'll get to that later but uh your teeth you don't want to be scratching you don't want to be scratching his dick so you have to minimize that. And a good way to minimize that is by taking the inner lips, inside of your lips, and basically using it as a covering over your teeth. So when you are going down on the dick, you are basically appearing yourself um, and protecting your teeth from off of, off of the shaft. Uh, another good tip is if your partner is too big for your mouth, like if, well, not so much too big, but if they're too wide or, you know, nice girth, um, you just do about this much. Just do about that much. Get your mouth over it, you know, get it nice and wet and sloppy. Let, let all of that drill all the way down. Don't be afraid of your own spit, girl. Get it all down the dick. Okay, and while you are going down, you are also giving him a hand job at the same time and in a rhythmic fashion. And that way you are still keeping up with the, the sensation of it. So yes, you're going to have to use more than your mouth um, if you can't go all the way down. But definitely protect the teeth um, going down. Another problem that uh, women run into is... Uh, the gag reflex okay it's, it's natural um when you get to a certain point you may end up gagging gagging but one key thing to avoid from gagging is being relaxed and the more relaxed you are which means allowing allowing your partner to go as you're going down you are relaxing the back of your tongue and you're allowing him to curve on the inside of your mouth if you do that and you don't fight against it you'll have better results if you really like not want to do it anyway from the first place and and you are feeling tense about it your your mouth instantly is going to tense up so the moment you turn around and try to get back there you're going to gag so just relax and just go with the curvature. And I mean, like, yeah, you will have a stopping point, but it doesn't have to be as quick as you might have experienced. Um, another thing with uh, a big, huge thing with going down on your partner is 
having the intention, your mind set to rock his world, to suck his dick. Like if you really have a attitude of where you're like, I really don't like doing this. Uh, I hope he don't take too long to come. Uh, if you just automatically start to approach it with a negative attitude, then um, your your head game is going to suck. Um, it's just going. It just is. I mean, so your mind has to be there. You basically want to be able to worship his dick, and I mean, just as much as he will worship your pussy, you want to be able to worship his dick. And I mean, like. You know, and I don't mean literally worship, but I mean like love on it. Like so when when you have it, you are actually like intensely um wanting to uh ple pleasure your partner. So like yes, you're like all on it. You're giving um good head, you are massaging it, you are kissing it, you are caressing it, you are basically like like into your partner and i mean if you do that a your guy is not going to take too long to come b the session is going to go so much better c you're going to have a better attitude at it because when you see him like please with your skills your game it ain't, it ain't like you got to be a pro at it you know just want to do it you'll see a world of difference and not only that He's going to want to ple pleasure you even better. Because he'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, damn, babe. Like, you are really giving me too much right now. Like, I got to get you. You know, I got to get you back. So, ladies, keep that in mind when it comes to pleasuring a partner and giving him a blowjob. Have your mind into it. Lubrication. Uh, the, the spit factor, you know, is a must. Don't forget about his boys, girl. Don't forget about these boys. Put your mouth on the boys. I mean, as long as your guy is well-groomed, well-maintained, there shouldn't be no reason why you cannot kiss, touch, and caress all on him. And, and because you will want the same from him, you know? So give back the love love this is the person that you're trying to be with so love them and and you know show them through ways of your expression through sexual and intimate expressions um one other thing to swallow or to not swallow is the question that is your own personal um if you want to do it go right ahead if you don't want to do it Okay, you don't have to. There's no no law saying that you are messing anything up. Is it safe to do it? Absolutely. You are not going to unless your partner, you know, you know your partner's STD status, of course. But outside of that part, um, there's nothing wrong with it. And yes, there are the articles that say that it's like loaded with protein and stuff like that. It only has a minute amount of protein. Like we would have to drink a whole lot of it to get any like benefits from it. But it has other benefits like um, is known to be um, increases like uh, because it has oxytocin in it. So it also helps increases our mood and we feel better. So that's why women are relaxed if their partners like come inside of them or you know if they swallow their cum you know they just feel extremely they want to be more orgasmic and more into it so it does have some benefits in it and you know it's a whole bunch of studies that you can look into on google but it's totally safe if you want to try it go ahead just go with it just go with it girl don't even try to fight it like just it ain't gonna kill you <laughs> so i will talk to y'all later and if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my page and hit the bell so you will be alerted when I have other videos. Until the next time, bye-bye.